Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, my name is Mr. Emerald Man, and welcome back to another review. Now, it's been a while since I've done a review, I've mostly been focusing on commentary sort of videos, but I'm back because not too long ago, about two weeks ago, I received this guy in the mail. Now, if you don't know who this is, this is Firestar Toys Lunar Lad, I believe his name is. I probably should have looked up the name before I started the review. However, I'm getting too lazy, so I'm just going to continue on anyways. Um, but I believe his name is Lunar Lad. And I got to say, I, I'm pretty impressed with this guy. He has pretty simple printing. However, it's very detailed. Uh, so today I'm here to do a quick review on him. So without further ado, let's just get into this review. Now, one of the very first things I want to talk about is the pricing. This guy on the website is about 19 pounds, which translated to US dollars would be about $23 if I'm not mistaken. And that's not taking into account the shipping or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, you know, $23 ain't too bad for a custom fig. Now, next thing I want to talk about is the packaging. Um, I, I, again, I think this happened in the Moon Knight review. Um, however, I got rid of the packaging. I'll try and have an image up on screen of how the packaging looked like. But yeah, that's basically how you're going to get it, which I, I think, you know, for $23, the packaging and the figure, it, it's definitely not too bad. Now, for the accessories, it comes with two standard Lego gray batons. Um, I, I would have preferred if maybe they had some sort of printing on it, but, you know, for $23, Two standard gray batons ain't that bad. But along with that, it also comes with an alternate head, which is a Stephen Grant. Uh, at least I believe that's his name. It's sounding a little off to me, but it's an alternate face of Stephen Grant, which I gotta say isn't too bad. You know, it definitely does look like Oscar Isaac. And along with the alternative head, it also comes with an alternative face expression on that head. And then, of course, the hairpiece, that's also included, which is always nice, you know, to include, you know, these types of accessories. Again, the figure's pretty simple, and, you know, the accessories are also pretty simple. But for the pricing, I don't believe it's too bad. Now, let's move on to reviewing the figure itself. Just like the last figure, this figure is actually UV printed, which, you know, if you're one of those guys that, like, don't really like UV printing because it looks weird or whatever don't worry this uv printing isn't actually too bad i think firestar toys is actually one of the few companies that does uv printing right to the point where if you're looking at it through a camera and it's capturing all the tiny details you might notice it but in person you're definitely not going to notice it if you put it next to another lego minifigure you're not going to notice you know the difference you, obviously you're going to notice the raised texture of the uv printing but you're not going to you're not really going to like always have the figure up close up to your face i don't know why i'm doing this gesture as if you could see me it, it's a very stupid gesture but i don't you're not always going to have the figure all the way up close to your face just always constantly looking at it you know it's obvious that you're going to be looking at it from a distance um you're not really going to notice it now let's just go over the printing really quickly uh now the face obviously i feel like it looks like mr knight but i'm also kind of getting a bit of deadpool vibes i don't know why maybe it could be the dark round pits around his eye but it, it definitely it's definitely giving me deadpool eyes now obviously moving down to the bottom it's just a simple tux print you know there is a tiny bit of detail like here and there on the actual tie and on the actual uh, i don't know what to call those things but there there's a bit of detail right there and then obviously moving down to the pants there's just uh kind of that line going down definitely makes it seem like it's uh more dress pants than it would be anything else and then obviously the shoes right there it's just uh simple bandages right there which i'm not entirely sure if mr knight actually had those kind of shoes in the show however it's there and i don't mind extra detailing never hurts a figure now moving around to the back it's honestly super, super simple. It's just a, uh, I would say a T-shape. Uh, that's the best way that I could put it. Just a, just a T-shape. Um, obviously, no, no, uh, no printing on the back of the head. But I'm not really expecting printing on the back of the head. The actual Mr. Knight suit was pretty simple. So again, not really expecting printing there. Um, but yeah, that's just a quick rundown. Oh, and before I forget, the arm also has a bit of printing. But both sides have that kind of printing where it's like the little three buttons. I think that's pretty cool. They definitely didn't have to add that in. However, the fact that they did that was kind of a pleasant surprise. And for a very quick comparison, here he is next to my custom painted Mr. Knight figure. And I gotta say that 
I think Firestar Toys clearly takes the win here. Mine is just painted like a five-year-old. You know, it's it's not that good, which obviously when it comes to an amateur painting it by hand, it's not going to be any good. Uh, however, uh, I still think that Firestar Toys obviously did a lot better, and that's why this is definitely going to be knocked out of here, and this is now becoming the main thing that I am putting on my display forever and ever, and the other one, which is going to be back here, is just going to be put in a box, hopefully to never be seen again. And I also do quickly want to show him with uh, his counterpart, his uh, alter ego, or, or I'm not sure if he is the alter ego, but here he is next to Mark Spector, uh, aka Moon Knight. And I gotta say, I'm honestly really glad that I took the chance and actually got this figure. It's definitely, it definitely didn't disappoint. As much as it seems like a simple figure, which I know I said this a lot throughout the course of this video, as much as it seems like a simple figure, it's definitely a figure that I recommend you get, especially if you don't happen to have any other Mr. Knight figure. This is definitely, I would say, the best figure you could get for the most affordable pricing. And plus, another plus is that it, it looks a lot like something LEGO would release. And then really quickly, I know that this video is kind of being stretched out, but here are the Firestar Toys Lunar Lad and Lunar Vigilante next to my custom painted Moon Knight and Mr. Knight. And, you know, uh, again, it's just... This is being knocked out, this is being knocked out, and again, these two are just gonna be the main focus of my display because I just did a horrible job, And uh, but I, I quickly wanted to show that comparison, you know, just for the video, for the sake of the video. So yeah, that's gonna be the end of the video. I really hope you all enjoyed. Hopefully I didn't miss anything in this review. Uh, just in case, if you happen to have any questions, drop them down below. I'll be happy to answer them in case you're still a little bit like on the fence of whether you're gonna get this figure or not. Drop the questions down below in case I miss anything. I'll quickly answer them for you. And uh, yeah, I know that uh, Firestar Toys also released the uh, Conchu, I believe his name is. It's been a while since I've looked at the show, but I believe that's his name. It's the, uh, it's the guy that's controlling these two. Um, I have no intention of personally getting that figure just because it's um, he wasn't my favorite figure and I don't really want to waste money on somebody who wasn't really a personal favorite of mine. <laughs> I'm gonna, she stuck her finger up my nose. I'm gonna keep it in. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep that in. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm keeping it in. I think that was too funny. <sighs> okay, sorry about that. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm not. I have no intention of getting that figure. It's um, it's not a. It's not a character that was a, a favorite of mine. So I'm definitely not getting that one. But yeah. Anyways, um, I'm end this video here. Hopefully you like and subscribe. And I have more reviews, more everything coming on the way. I know that I've been slacking a little bit. I'm gonna try and get off of that slacking. Um. Yeah. Thank you all for watching.